guys welcome back to the channel man welcome back to the channel real quick guys i hear that direct connection will be releasing some stage kits for the 392 they also will have stage kits for the hellcats when you have your favorite youtuber sorry guys i'm sorry i'm gonna get leaving work when you have your favorite youtuber you just take what they say and run with it but when you're dealing with these cars especially these expensive hellcats these 392s uh, you got to do your research. And me, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything about these cars, know everything about these stage kits, because I don't. And I'm still learning as I go. And I'll never try to act like I know everything. But from what I'm understanding, guys, yes, these stage kits will give you a little more horsepower. But you have to ask yourself, is it really worth what you have to pay to get these little bit of gains? Me, personally, if you've got a 392, I can understand wanting a few more horsepower. Yes, Dodge will warranty the parts that come with these kits. But what they're not telling you guys is this. First of all, it would be a waste of money if you're not even the type of person that race your car. Because some, some folks are just on the internet just yapping, knowing daggone well they have no intentions on racing their car. Not only that, and this is the main thing right here, guys. If you race the car with a stage kit, with these stage kits, installed on your car and something happens that's not covered under warranty now hit me hit me out if you're caught racing or if they find out that you were racing the car it's not covered under warranty whatever happens to the car you avoid your warranty i have an email right here from an individual on the forum who emailed direct connection and asked one of the guys about getting the stage kit and this is the email he received back. So this is proof right here that your warranty will be voided. Check this out. Now, as you can see right here, this guy mentioned that he spoke with DC Direct Connection via email this morning. And a representative made it very clear that an extended warranty even if it's through Mopar, will be void at the time stage kits part of any kind are installed. Additionally, there is no current workaround due to the delayed release of the stage kits. There it is, guys. It's pretty simple. Your extended warranty will be void, especially with the older Hellcats and Scats. A lot of y'all are riding on your extended warranty now because the factory warranty is over. So as soon as you put those kits on your car, you will avoid that warranty if something happens. Your factory warranty is not affected. The Mopar extended warranty will be voided. It was stated that way from the beginning. See, that's crazy, but see, nobody's really talking about this stuff. They're just making videos. I have it in writing now. Direct connection upgrades will avoid the extended warranty. <laughs> It's Dodge, man. It, you just you got to do your research, guys. Let's see what else we got. Would it be too disappointing, really? Okay. So, it seems like your factory warranty, you may be okay. But if it's found that you're racing, you avoid that warranty as well. So, you just got to be super clear on what's covered if something happens, guys. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, I guess we will never know until we actually get in a situation and you have to have something fixed under warranty. But I just want to put this out there so you at least have something to go off of, something to ask the, uh, the people at Direct Connection when you go in and get your stage kits. You need to be clear on this stuff, guys. Um, because I don't want something to happen and then you guys come back and say, oh, it's such and such said, uh, this covered under warranty. I'm putting it out there right now. Now, I've yet to hear anybody say anything about this. All I keep hearing is, oh, yeah, you're going to get this stage kits are coming for your car. You, you know, getting everybody all hype. And, I mean, I get it. That is true. The stage kits are coming. But the whole point of increasing your horsepower is, I would think, to race your car. Me, personally, I'm not super excited about running out buying a stage kit. I told you guys I'm buying a different car for that. But a lot of you guys, you daily drive your 392. So you want to run out here and spend all this money on this stage kit and you have no intentions on racing the car. Just got to think about it. You don't. You can't just get caught up in the hype. 
Now, some people might say, oh, I'm hating or this and that. Now, I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys. I'm not going to just come out with a video to get you guys all hype and not tell you guys the full story. Now, I understand there may be loopholes to it. They got to, of course, prove you were racing. And there may be other ways to get around them not voiding your warranty. Yes, yeah, so just make sure that you're clear about that. And make sure whomever installs this kit in your car, you need to discuss the stuff with them as well. Now, they may not care. All they want to do is, is get the money and install it for you. On top of that, you want to make sure you have a proper dealership, a direct connect dealership that know what they're doing. A lot of these guys don't know, have no clue on how to install these kits because you don't want to pay all this money for a stage kit that is installed incorrectly. You go out and having a little fun and something happened and come to find out it was installed incorrectly and they void your warranty. I think these stage kits are for people who, like somebody like Racer X, Demonology, people like that that actually race these cars, but just for a regular general YouTuber like me who just got this car just to pretty much ride around, do burnouts here and there. Look at this guy in this Mustang. He, you don't want no smoke. And plus it's raining, so I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing for you. Um, but somebody like myself who just ride around this car, likes how it sound, you know, little pools here and there. The stage direct connection stage kits it really is none of my concern. I'm not, I'm not sitting around waiting for that to be released. Because first of all, if I was to do a, a direct connection stage kit, I can't race my car. So what's the point? What you gonna pull up that car in the coffee and just say, oh, my car got 780 horsepower. I have the direct connection stage kit. So what? <laughs> what's the point? If you ain't gonna race the car. So it makes sense to do it once the warranty is up on your vehicle. Then I can see, yeah, you know, after the three years, 36,000 miles, uh, you want to increase the horsepower in your car, it makes sense to get the kit. But if your car is still on the warranty, you get this kit and you go racing, I don't think that's a smart idea. So leave your comments, guys. If, I, if Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But if you guys got any more information on this, let me know. Um, I'm always open to, if I'm, if I'm wrong, hey, let me know I'm wrong. I'm open to... Uh, positive criticism i don't know everything we in this thing together we're a family y'all let me know when i'm wrong and um and we go from there so if you're new to my channel man hit the like button subscribe i appreciate y'all watching i'll see y'all on the next one. peace